Right. Um, out of curiosity, man, um, if you don't mind sharing, um, what was the last conversation you had with Bish Gresh about Tupac before your brother passed away? Like, what was his last thoughts about Tupac? I can't even remember. I can't even remember. All, I, all we was really focused on, I'm telling you, it was a real, and we, we had our own little shit going on, you know what I'm saying? We couldn't really, we had to focus on surviving and trying to, you know what I mean? Get 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 our family straight. You know what I'm saying? So that's where we was really at, and it was real in the hood, and we had to deal with uh with with Belmar. You know what I'm saying? And this is when um when you got a label deal, everybody was getting label deals and getting three million, four million, this, that, and the other. We finally got the label deal. It was the Dope though, it was a dope label deal. But back then we didn't understand it because everybody that got a label deal got money. You know what I'm saying? They gave us a label deal with was no money up front, but it was 50-50. You know what I'm saying? And Belmar was the same people that was distributing Jody Watley at the time, and they had that hit out. Them niggas was whack though, but it was a hit. Woo, there it is. Woo, there it is. They had them dudes. You know what I'm saying? And if you signed with Belmar, you know what I'm saying, every movie that came out under Disney, you was on the fucking soundtrack. So it was a ill, and we had a 50-50 deal with them, but we had to bring our shit, you know what I'm saying? We had to pay for our shit and bring it to them done, pay for the videos, everything. You know what I'm saying? So that, that kind of like, it, it shook us like, damn, we got a label deal, but they ain't trying to give up no three, no, no millions and shit, but this is dope, you know what I'm saying? And we was like, in, 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 in limbo about signing it. Like, should we sign it? Should we look for another deal where they gonna give up the money? You know what I'm saying? So this is where we at at this time. You know what I mean? This is where our, our brain is at. We couldn't even think about nothing else. This is real in the hood. Niggas is getting killed. Niggas is going to jail. It's funky, man. You know what I'm saying? So we couldn't really think about nothing else but trying to get out the hood. You know what I'm saying? And then the day when me and my brother really decided like, fuck it, man, let's sign this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause like I said, man, show me your company, I tell you who you are, man. And my brother stopped hustling. He ain't never hustled no more, nigga. He put his all his faith in this music shit. Like this shit gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? And he and and like I said, show me your company you are. He changed his company, nigga. Everybody he talking to was rich. You know what I'm saying? Like he upstairs in my in, in my mom's crib in that little ass room with millionaires on the phone with him. He on the phone with with Russell and Andre Arell, God bless the dead, and they telling him, Stretch, that's a fucking deal. I mean, Puffy got a better deal than that. Uh, uh. So, boom, we like, fuck it, man. Let's sign it. And the night that we said, let's sign it, we was going to sign it the next day, I lost my brother, man. Wow. You understand? Now, put everybody around, like, 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 uh, uh, let's, Rockefeller. 50 uh, uh, G unit. Let's say that's them, and niggas would have lost 50 or lost J. Would they have been a, a G unit? Would they would have been a Rockefeller? That's what we just went through. You understand? That's what we went through, my nigga. So once I lost my brother, man, it was like. Pfft. I'm just like, where the fuck is everybody at? Yo, I'm, I'm like, yo, you know, my, my, my mom's like, yo, is Pop coming to the funeral? It's big, big calling. Like, yo, it's real, man. You're big, you know what I'm saying? And Big ain't come to the funeral. It was too crazy for him. I don't know what everybody was thinking. You know what I'm saying? And then when Big died, I felt what he felt. That's why I didn't go to Big's funeral. I'm like, oh, now I know why Big ain't come. Cause it was too crazy. Like even though this is hood shit, it, it, these niggas, he like man, I, it was too crazy. So now when it happened to Big, I felt the same shit. I'm like, damn, I'm Pac Man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to no Brooklyn <laughs> to no funeral right now. You know what I'm saying? Let them <laughs> right, right. You know what I'm saying? So it was crazy, man. And that's that's where we was at. You know what I mean? That's what How do you feel about Tupac not going to your um, brother funeral? Because I know Ed Lover had an issue with that. He was mad that Tupac didn't show up. Yeah, funeral. I mean, like I said, man, I lost my brother, so I couldn't really be, I couldn't really focus on, I, I damn near can't even remember that day of the funeral, none of that, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I definitely wanted to see niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was crazy, but 
when I spoke, when Billy Bang, when I spoke to Billy Bang and he was like, yo, when he spoke to Pac about my brother and shit, he was like, yo, yo, man, stretch going, nigga. What the fuck, man? And he said, Pac was like, yo, yo, we at war right now, my nigga. We at war right now. Like, meaning, like, yo, nigga, if stretch could go, nigga, anybody could go. You know what I'm saying? Like, because, you know, my brother wasn't, I told you, nigga, he been left the streets, all that shit. So that shit was like a shock. That's why 50 said first it happened to stretch, then Pac, then big. So I'm convinced it could happen to everybody, kid. That shit was a shock to the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, my brother was not supposed to be getting killed in the street. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is, full, this is before all of this shit that's happened now in the industry. You know what I'm saying? Like, we the first besides Scott the Rock. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the first of that. Like, it's crazy. You know what I mean? So you can imagine where I was at. I can't, I can't, I couldn't even manage my nigga. Word. What was your reaction when Tupac got killed in Vegas? Nigga, I cried, my nigga. I cried. Come on, this is... I'm t you ain't hearing me, man. We around each other at teenagers, man. I know his mama. I know his family. Satch. Like, this is... We, nigga, this is my brother, man. That shit killed me. That shit killed me. Him and Big. Like, that shit was fucking crazy, man. Niggas is not supposed to have been dying from no gunshots, man. Niggas, this is what we do. We in the street... We go in the studio, we trying to make millions of dollars to get out the street so this don't happen to us. You know what I'm saying? Like when y'all hear me on my music and I'm shouting out uh, E-Money Bags, Big Psych Mussolini, this is, this is rap, this is rap. I'm not even shouting out who, we was, you know, who was dying in the street. This is my, this is my what, co-workers? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This shit is crazy, man. Shit is crazy, man. Crazy. But now look at the world we in. This is like a regular thing now? Nah, this shit is yeah, fucking man. crazy. Yeah, it's crazy out here now, yo. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Like a regular thing, man. Rappers dying every other yeah, day. Yeah, man. But what's so crazy about it, I seen it coming. I didn't know it was going to be my family, though, but I seen it coming, man. I seen it. Because it was, man, it's crazy. These little niggas got a game fucked up. They thinking that you got to be out here shooting people to rhyme about it. Like, Nigga, you a reporter, man. It's either you a reporter or you you just rhyming about having fun or whatever. Nigga, who the fuck told y'all, man, yo, I can't talk about shooting people and then I ain't out here shooting people? Who the fuck told y'all that? Shit is crazy, man. But we out here, though, man. 